Next question I received is from Hyderabad, India. The question is, I am a college student and uh, I saw something suddenly on a TV. Uh, well, anyway, I understand the question. Uh, he's a student and he's from a college and basically he's probably browsing on the internet. <clears throat> so something suddenly came up on the screen which, uh, which actually penetrated him and uh, fills up when like uh, wake up his desire to do something wrong. So he's asking him masturbate, he masturbated but he did not ejaculate. Does it uh, invalidate his fast? Uh, it does not uh, validated. Uh, it does not invalidated your uh, fasting. But this is like an extreme sin of uh, going towards uh, fahish. Uh, even when, when, if he was being, if he had, if he had like ejaculated, that would have break his fast. But since he watched something on the internet, but suddenly his desire comes up and he wants to do, and he just like sighting uh, masturbating, and uh, that does not break his fast. But this is an extreme sin. So rather, so I'm going to give an example. So Allah says uh, to have a taqwa and make your fasting as strong as possible and control our mind and control our nafs to be a, a better and good Muslim. So this will help us then to live in another 11 months. So for an example, Allah has given us this fasting. Is uh, he, he gave us like 100 marks and uh, like uh, how much sins are we doing during the fast is starts cutting off our max. For an example, if he ejaculated that Wallahu alam, he might have left with uh, one mark only from out of 100, just like uh, he is the name of uh, like he just fasted. But that doesn't really mean he's fasting because fasting really means that you have to have a taqwa that you have to have control you are being controlling yourself from useless things or haram things which are things that taking you towards haram or any bad thing useless thoughts it could be anything it's cutting your marks out out of 100 so when coming to this type of sin this is this is like an extremely uh, a major sin it falls into the category of fahish so this person has to complete his day in the fasting. Uh, it doesn't break his fast, but wallahu alam, uh, how much mark he's going to be getting uh, out of hundred. And uh, after Ramadan, it is uh, recommended for him to to make up another fast, so he won't feel guilty out of that what he did uh, sin during the fasting that will cover up. So, but I would suggest to stay away from the things which trigger you and which penetrate you and uh, which takes you or you fall into a situation uh, which is like a major sin especially in Ramadan. Oh.